but I wrote oh. this poem in um, <laughs> despite of, as you've all probably noticed, and thank you for not saying anything, my black eye. But um, I actually just noticed now. Love, yeah. love God. <laughs> love him. There we go. I like the country. So it is. So it is. What? Coffee table. Coffee table. Exactly. Well, it was my dryer. But anyway. So I wrote this poem. It has nothing to do with how I got my black eye. But, and so I've edited it and I've recently won. It's just going to so be a really rough time right now. It is. Yes. So we it's called. Next husband. Sorry, it's it is. Ahead. It is. So the poem is called The Gentleman by Jimmy Lee. This guy, I know, he wandered in. His eyes were somewhat blackened. I looked him over carefully and said, Now, Jimmy Lee, what happened? Did you come down off your horse, or were you out kissing trees? Well, why is your face all swollen up, or do you have some rare, strange new disease? He smiled a little ruefully and said, I must confess. I got these two big shiners because of a clinging silk pink dress. I looked at him somewhat careful and said, I'm sure I want to know. And he said, this is the story and this is how it goes. So the other day I went to town to pick up some supplies. Like stock salt and penicillin and something to repel those goddamn flies. <laughs> when I got there, I noticed there was a concert on in town. So I thought I would take it in and just see who was all around. But when I got there, the hall was full. And judging from the odor, perspiration was the norm. So I got a chair up near the front. But the view was still poor. Because this gal in front of me, well, she was surely large for sure. <laughs> yes, when it comes to size, she was somewhat ample, as though she shopped at the tent supply, and her pink silk dress was the sample. Oh, wow. And I noticed when she stood up on the final song to sing, that all that perspiration caused that pink silk dress to cling. <laughs> yes, it was plastered to her back, about should be her spine. And I noticed a lot was caught in her behind. <laughs> so I thought I'd help her out. No need to cause attention. And when I gave that dress a tug to ease the fabric out, well, whoo, she came around with an elbow swing and gave me quite a clout. <laughs> so I thought, hmm, maybe it bothered her, the dress just hanging slack. She blackened up my other eye when I tried to squeeze it back. <laughs> <laughs>
ินบาราปับ